Hello, I'm Jennifer Zecca, and I wanted to share my testimony with you today. I've had a rocky relationship with Jesus for the majority of my life. I only prayed when I wanted something or when difficult situations occurred in my life. It was the worst when my son was diagnosed with brain cancer at four years old. I was angry at God, and I felt as if he was punishing me. I went to church off and on with my family, but didn't feel connected with Jesus, and I felt lost overall. While my son Logan was going through chemotherapy, I really felt that my relationship with God started to get better. He was the only hope that I had since everything was out of my control. Once my son was cured, my faith started to fade because I felt I didn't need to rely on God as much. That lasted for 11 years. Once again, my son Logan was diagnosed with an unbeatable cancer on his 15th birthday. My eyes were wide open and I needed God more than ever. I began devoting all my time to reading God's Word, daily devotionals, and learning about who He really was and the purpose of the things He does in our lives. It was on March 22nd of 2022 that my world came crashing down. I lost Logan, and I needed God more than ever. I have never felt so broken in my life. I prayed and I prayed for a miracle. And when that miracle didn't come, I was extremely angry at God. I hated him for taking my son. However, through this journey, I realized how much energy I put into unimportant things. I took many things for granted. Unfortunately, three months later, I lost my father, Duncan, unexpectedly. At that point, I've had enough. I realized these things are definitely things I cannot control. I had to trust God and His plan. The last five months have made me understand how much we all need God in our lives. We must stay consistent every day. And I'm here to rededicate my life to the Lord and proclaim that I'm here to serve Him for the rest of my life. I'd like to share with you a very special scripture that had really helped Logan and I throughout his battle of cancer. It is Psalms 3, 3 through 5. But you, O Lord, are the shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. With my voice, I cry to the Lord and he hears and answers me out of his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awakened again, for the Lord sustains me. Thank you so much for listening to my testimony. I just wanted you to all know that these journeys have brought me closer to the Lord, and I'm still learning so much about Him, and I'm looking forward to see what He has in store for me in the future. Thank you so much.